What's going on guys? So we're here today to do another top list of fragrances. So this is the best of 2016. And if I had to pick a better list last year's versus this year's, I would totally say last year's list was way better than this year's list because I was buying a lot of bargain fragrances just to add some variety into my collection. But nonetheless, I'm going to do a top list. We're doing not top 10, but it'll be top nine because I didn't get that many fragrances as I did last year. But let's get into it, starting with my least favorite of them all. Cuban Glory. What the hell was I thinking when I got this fragrance? This is the tackiest, ugliest bottle. It's got this keychain thing. I bought this on a whim. I was in a store buying a shirt and they just had a bunch of cheap fragrances. Oh, so, uh, such, such a hideous bottle. I should have just left it alone. But this is supposed to be sandalwood and patchouli. It's supposed to be like a tobacco fragrance. It's kind of fresh, kind of clean, kind of spicy, kind of masculine, a little dated on the scent. It smells pretty good. It's not something I like to wear all the time, just maybe every once in a while. They claim this smells like Remy Latour's uh, cigar, but I've never smelled Remy Latour's cigar, so I have no idea. But out of all the fragrances I bought last year, this is the most hideous, ugliest, worst one I bought. Christian Obuje, villain Ed Hardy. So I bought this at Ross because it was dirt cheap. I had no idea what it smelled like, and I was like, Ed Hardy, I hear a lot about this stuff. When I first smelled it, this was the most offensive thing I've smelled to my nose. Not in a bad way, but I was just like, oh, you gotta be a douchebag to wear this stuff. Like, this is something you would wear if you're going clubbing. And I actually kind of like this fragrance. It took me a while to wear this, like, warm up to it. But it's supposed to be lavender, it's supposed to be kind of a musky, fresh scent. Totally something you should wear if you're a young single guy and, you, and you're a douchebag. Ed Hardy, villain. Before there was a Terry Mugler Angel Men, there was Animal, Animal. This is lavender to the max. So if you like Amen, but you're not a fan of the tar note, this will do it for you. This is everything that Angel Men is, except a little more, a little more kind of a masculine flair to it. A little more spicy, a little more musky, but totally a lavender bomb. Animal, animal. I really dig this fragrance. It's awesome, it's cheap, well worth getting if you're a fan of Angel Men. Gray Flannel, 1975. This was a classic and still to this day is a classic fragrance that tons of guys totally dig. Oh, this is super fresh, super green. It's got iris. It's uh, really an interesting fragrance. It's Kind of can feel dated, but I also think because it's an older scent, you could totally rock this as a modern man and get away with it and people would be like, what are you wearing? Gray flannel, I really dig this one. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it. Kind of reminds me of getting out of the shower and just smelling really super fresh and clean or walking through a forest with moss that after it rains, kind of like that. It's a really, really great scent. And also I have to give a shout out to my friends over at Bear Stern Man who wrote an epic blog highlighting gray flannel. So if you want more information and an awesome read on a fragrance, I'll put that down below in the description box because it's super cool. Bought this at Ross too. Super cheap, great fragrance, really, really worth the buy. Speaking of Terry Mugler, I got pure wood. That's right, I got this for my birthday, I believe, from my lovely Mrs. Corner. And I was super excited to get this because when I first smelled this, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> the second time I smelled it in the mall, I sprayed it on, walked around a bit and really, really dug it. It reminded me of like going camping, that camp woods smell. So you've got oak, coffee, vanilla, I think cypress. Really, really great fragrance, super woody. It, it's pure wood. I mean, there's nothing really else to say about it. It's got a cool looking bottle. Terry Mugler, super cool. C 
super weird but cool fragrance. This is a solid cologne by Fulton and Rourke. So I saw a review by an awesome dude online called the Fragrance Brothers. You might have heard of them. Super awesome and they piqued my interest. So I wanted to get something unusual for my giveaway. So I bought two of these, reserve number two. You can't buy this fragrance right now. They might bring it back. I have no idea. This is vetiver, Haitian vetiver and bergamot. This is a smoky, ooh, seductive, Haitian, dirty. Oh, it's such a great scent. This is very, very, very clean, fresh, dirty. I love vetiver, so it's, it's just a wonderful scent. It's a solid cologne, comes in this really cool tin that you can like clip around, throw this in your pocket, reapply it throughout the day, and super, super cool. Fulton and Rourke, really unique, very simple scent profile, and I love this one a lot. Lalique Encre Noir à la Extreme. So this one, I had not smelled the first Encre Noir, but it's super cool. Has this epic wood lid, very sexy, awesome bottle. I think this is a very cool looking bottle for such a cheap fragrance. Oh man, you've got incense, vetiver, totally another vetiver bomb. Got some woodsy stuff going on, cypress. Oh, I love this fragrance. And this one lasts pretty much all day. You can kind of smell whiffs of it as you're wearing it throughout the day and as you get your body heat kind of warms up. Super, super sexy fragrance. Funny thing about this fragrance though, it sometimes reminds me of pencils. Like, you know, when you were a kid and you sharpen a pencil and that pencil sharpened smell. I don't know what you would call it, pencil sharpened smell. It smells like that sometimes, not all the time. Oh, but it's super smoky, super sexy. Encre Noir à la Extreme. Bulgari Black. So this is my second top favorite fragrance of last year. If you like tea, this has got it. If you like Midnight in Paris, this smells a lot like it. Now the funny thing is, Mrs. Corner, every time I have her smell Midnight in Paris, she's like, ugh, no way. She smells this stuff and she really likes it. I have no idea why she does this to me. It, there's other fragrances, they smell exactly the same, almost, and she'll like one and she doesn't like the other. She likes this one though. The interesting thing about Bulgari Black though that makes it a little more different than Midnight in Paris is you've got this rubber smell. It's really masculine, kind of dirty. Oh, very gourmand almost, and it does. it's not very strong though. It doesn't last throughout the day like I wish it would, just kind of like Midnight in Paris. Wish it lasted longer, wished it was beast mode, but overall this is a very sexy, super cool fragrance that is my second most favorite, and it comes in this cool, awesome bottle. My all-time favorite fragrance from last year is the epic How Fetty by Pin Halligans. When I got my nose on this, I totally fell in love. I smelled this at the Big Shave West 2 in Pasadena. Oh, and I only got a sample because when I first smelled this, the bottle that they were wanting, the price for it was 300 bucks. And I was like, forget that. I ain't paying that money for, for this awesome fragrance. So I just got a sample. They claim this is for women. Ha <laughs> ha, you would be wrong. This is totally for dudes. Oh, I can still smell it out of the bottle. This was like super beast mode, which is highly unusual for Pin Halligans. And this is a rose scent. Bulgarian rose, jasmine, vanilla, tonka bean, oud, cedar. You got all kinds of cool stuff in here, which makes this thing totally rock. I dig it. And I think I'm actually gonna pick up a bottle because I think you can get it for like a hundred bucks now. Pin Halligan scents. If you've smelled any of them, they do not last long at all. You spray it on and after a couple hours, it's a skin scent or completely gone. This is the only one I've smelled that is like, you'll smell like this stuff all day long. Super beast mode, super awesome. That's why it's my favorite, super sexy. But if I had to put it head to head with Tom Ford's Noir de Noir or this, I might pick this, not 100%. But maybe, I need to try it. So if anybody wants to send me samples of these to do a head-to-head -head sniff competition, I'd totally do that. Those are my top favorite fragrances, kinda. Nine, 
however you want to say it, descending order of the best fragrance list. Let me know what is your favorite fragrance from last year that you smelled. Write that down below. Let me know. Let's have a conversation about it. Click subscribe, like my video, share it, all that cool stuff. Hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you.